In 2006, Charles Stewart was an electrician concerned with just paying the bills. Until one day, something happened. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the street lights went out. All electricity was lost and everything stopped. We were in light and then the next minute we were in darkness. A light bulb went off in my head and it made me aware that we needed some other type of auxiliary energy if it ever happened again. Stewart decided to learn more about solar power. So he moved from Maryland to New York and enrolled in the Center for Sustainable Energy. Like Stewart, many students have backgrounds in traditional trades. Now they can make their jobs greener. These are folks who, who have been out working on electrical systems in homes and in businesses for, for years and years. Now they're taking our classes and now they, they are becoming certified installers of solar. In 2009, Stewart started his own company called Peace and Solar. I mean, there's no sun, it's nothing. I mean, this is just energies. You always produce energy with a solar system, even on bad days, you know? even on like, you know, rainy days. The sun could power one half of New York City's energy needs in the future. Seven million dollars in state money alone is going to homeowners and small businesses. I think that ultimately, the more we're able to integrate sustainability into our daily lives, the more likelihood there is that, uh, that the, the funding will be there to do so because it will become part of what we do and the decisions we make. I tell people that they have to be optimistic that, you know, implementing solar systems can help the economy, not affect the economy. This is a great investment. Invest in a program that you know is going to bloom, that's going to pay you back. This, this provides two kilowatts to this home. It means that this provides what they use. So the electric bill is close to zero. Yes, yes, way. It's another potential customer, right? This is Harina Detroit for the New York City News Service.